If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, we're talking about VeChain today. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. It'll really, really help the channel. I really appreciate you guys. We're here every day talking about VeChain and Cardano, so you don't want to miss it. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get the show started. So um, we're starting off this show looking at the upbit volume today. Um. The pumps aren't really happening too much right now. It looks like Bitcoin is second in vol volume here. Um, and it looks like there's not a billion dollars in volume going in certain, into these coins. But something that I did see that was very, very uh, good is that VeChain is now up to 12 in up bit volume. Now, only a few more spots, guys. Like if we can get... If we can catch one of these pumps here, maybe uh, get into a billion dollars of total 24-hour volume here on Upbit, we could see a large pump. Uh, I remember I did a video about a week ago, and uh, VeChain was all the way down here at 40, so it's good to see that we're back up here at 12, so we're 12th in total volume on Upbit, and... Uh, Hopefully the pleas to the whales <laughs> will work. It does look like XRP is being pumped right now. Let's take a look at it. It's up about 3%. Um, and I think that that is going to continue to increase as this up volume continues to increase. They're only putting about 600 million. Once that gets it to about a billion, <clears throat> which we could probably see by the end of the day, I would expect xrp to really really take off um, anything above bitcoin and volume is being pumped by the koreans so it just looks like xrp is being pumped right now um, but it's good to see v chain down here at 12 still sit, sitting at 16 cents here uh, still doing good now uh, we're up about 5.2 percent on the day uh, things look good guys i mean to those who hodl <laughs> you're gonna be rewarded i mean uh uh, it seems to be that in the comment section, where we were going through the uh, through the dips and through the kind of stable price action, that people take the philosophy of buying high and selling low. Uh, it seems that that is what people's strategy typically is. But uh, you know, you just got to reverse that: buy high, sell low. Buy low, sell high. Um, it's good to see V Chain come on back up, guys. L listen. I mean, four cents to 20, 10 cents to all time highs. Like, come on, <laughs> just hodl. Not financial advice, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Market cap's at a trillion, three trillion, uh, which is good to see. A lot of coins pumping all around us. People get a little bit antsy, but we've seen this before, all right? Before April, we started to see Dogecoin pump like crazy. We started to see a lot of other coins, Solana pump, many, many other coins, Safe Moon, I remember, <clears throat> pumping like absolute mad. And then, um, you know, the other coins started to follow. So that's what we would like to see, guys. Um, and yeah, we're just hodling, guys. We are literally just hodling. So that's the price and the upbit volume. Let's move on. So it looks like VeChain was invited to another conference um, uh, by the Shanghai Minhang government to discuss its products and use cases. So this is actually pretty cool here. Um, this happened when it was at the China Indust International e Import Expo, uh, a side event hosted by the Investment Institute of the Shanghai Minhang government. Uh, according to the report, VeChain Foundation, represented by its CMO, was able to share live use cases of VeChain Thor blockchain products and the utility embedded in AirTrace, which was a jointly built measure with PwC. So this is good, guys. We're getting our uh, 
products in front of large corporations. Uh, this has been VChain's MO for a very, very long time. And this is good to see. The tweet says uh, they were invited to an exclusive CIE side event by the Investment Institute of the Shanghai Minhang government to a room of large international companies and government officials. Our CMO shared live use cases of VET's blockchain products. So hopefully this could breed a new partnership out of the CIIE, which it typically does. Typically after VeChain attends these big old um, conferences, they do end up with a partnership. And uh, we could definitely use another partnership now that the markets are you know, turning more towards greed. If we take a look at the fear and greed index here. We see that the markets are in greed. And literally just a few months ago, everybody was scared. The comments in my videos were like, VeChain's going to zero. It's never going back to all time highs. I'm selling for blah, blah, blah coin, yada, yada, yada. And it just goes to show how people's emotions can be manipulated in literally a couple of weeks. Guys, that's why I come on here and say the same thing every day. <laughs> Because I know how easily it is just to be manipulated, just to be finessed out of your crypto. Literally, so many people sold their V-Chain and got finessed. Whales took them for everything they had. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny, but it is what it is. But now we're in greed, extreme greed mode. People are uh, moving further and further towards the risk curve, buying coins that are questionable but we're not going to get into that just keep keep your emotions in check guys uh figure out where you're at on the emotional scale take a snapshot of it literally a couple of months ago this bar was red <laughs> it's it's funny how that works um master your emotions and you'll master crypto november 9th uh we got demetrius nicolas UK and EU ecosystem manager, um, November the 9th from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Looks like there's a webinar. Discussing real use cases on the VeChain Thor blockchain. It's going to be pretty cool, guys. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and watch it. <clears throat> there's going to be another AMA. Um, this is actually what I was talking about here. Uh, this is the AMA. Um, it's going to be in Greek, uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Moving on. So VC official, uh, market V2 upgrade is close. Um, so if we can see here, guys, here is the demo of the marketplace. It looks really good. Um, we can see here all your V Kings, all your V Ghosts, all in one area. So this is definitely good to see. You can list your item here. You can list your NFT. And then once you list your NFT here, <coughs> it will show up on the marketplace. Eventually. <laughs> like it's uh ah there we go so now your v king has been listed that's pretty cool guys so and then you can come on down to the marketplace you can select all your v ghosts so if you guys are interested in v chain nfts here uh you can now set bid prices and now you can bid on um, you can now bid on these VeChain NFTs. So this is VC.io. It's shaped up to be one of the uh, premier VeChain NFT marketplaces that we have out there. And again, here is it. Here it is, right here. So if you guys are interested, uh, go ahead, search it up. <clears throat> go to the marketplace <laughs> as we can see V Kings NFTs are here you 
You can buy them now. Connect your wallet up there, and you have all the functionality. Um, there's a couple of events with V Kings as well, guys. Apparently, um, they're doing a sort of newbie uh, program where if you have not bought a V King, you can now buy one. Um, and uh, you can participate in sort of a burn event. So they're actually burning a lot of these V-Kings for your chance to win an undead V-King as well. And those undead V-Kings are going to a separate collection, so they'll be rare. And all the burnt V-Kings, sort of called a pyre event. Those pyre events, uh, the, the, the V-Kings that are burnt in those events are going to a separate collection as well. So they're going to be burning down the supply thus making V-Kings even more valuable. So go ahead and check out the Discord if you're interested in that burn event. And we're moving on, guys. I wanted to post this here. This is by Pompliano, Anthony Pompliano. He's a Bitcoin, I don't wanna call him a Bitcoin Maxi. Is he a Bitcoin Maxi? Yeah, he's a Bitcoin Maxi, but uh, he's one of the cool ones, <laughs> I guess. Uh, he supposed in some cases things are inevitable the hard part is you, you don't know how long it might take but you know it will happen if you're patient enough so you could do these things with conviction if you're long-term oriented and patient this is a quote from Jeff Bezos okay when my man's Jeff Bezos look at I want you guys to do me a favor if you're new and you've not seen this interview I want you to type in early Jeff Bezos interview on YouTube. Okay, it's gonna take you back to like the 90s when he was in like a one room office. Okay, cluttered office, dude. He had one of those big old computers, you know what the big old, those monitors with the fat backs on them? He had one of those and literally like he had just junk all over his table and he was working on Amazon then, bro. Back then, Bezos, nobody really, knew who he was back then people weren't really talking about amazon back in the 90s not that i remember but he just kept coming to work he had that wood chop mentality you know he didn't listen to the markets you know how many times people articles the the news cycle declared amazon dead they did that probably about 20 times in 20 years bro like literally they, they declared Amazon dead in the water. They said that it would never work. They said that, oh, the price isn't moving fast enough. And the people that hodled, the people who bought uh, uh, Amazon IPO and just held, literally did nothing but held. If you put $10,000 into Amazon IPO and just held, you ignored the FUD. You ignored you know, the comment section saying, oh, it's not moving fast enough. I'm selling for Enron. <laughs> I'm selling for Tyco. Because people did say that back then. They did say that they were selling their crypto. They're, they were selling their Amazon for Enron. If you ignored all that garbage, you just held, that $10,000 would be worth $24 million right now. But, <clears throat> you know, I was going to go into a rant. I'm not even going to do it. You guys know what the heck I'm talking about. We're hodling. We're stacking and chilling. And we're moving on, guys. <laughs> 886 days. 868 days. Whoa. To the next Bitcoin block having. And the markets are looking real good, guys. Things are looking real good. Bitcoin's almost at another all-time high. Ethereum, almost at $5,000. Not really much else to say here. I mean... XRP is looking like it's going for a massive pump here in a few, just depending on that upbit volume. Taking a look here, Crypto.com coin. We love Crypto.com on this channel. Shout out to them. I'm an affiliate for them, so if you guys have not moved to Crypto.com yet, go ahead and do so. Click the link in the description below. Create an account. You get a little bit. I get a little bit of something, something, and I really appreciate you. Um, Algo, there's coins pumping like crazy, okay? There's coins pumping like crazy. And as long as Dojalon Mars is going up 100% on the day, the bull run is in still full effect. I know 
other coins are pumping like crazy and it can get boring because the price isn't moving and yada 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 blah 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 all that garbage but you know we're here for the long term guys all right that's been the motto since day one it's gonna continue being the motto so that's the VJ news not too much going on in the ecosystem today but I'm here each and every day hit that like button for me hit that subscribe button I love you guys stay tuned we're gonna be talking about Muesli uh, it's a new swap based on cold oatmeal which I love cold oatmeal cold oatmeal is literally the best you know what I'm saying you cook it up get it real thick I like my oatmeal like I like my women you know wait I can't say that I will get canceled so fast <laughs> that's why I'm not I'm afraid to do a face reveal bro like people are getting canceled left and right literally for the most mundane BS people get canceled for jokes so like if I get on camera boy I might get canceled with the quickness anyway <clears throat> um, I like my oatmeal like I like my my ladies thick and cold with raisins in them that doesn't make any sense anyway <laughs> we're gonna be doing a, a breakdown of that so stay tuned for that um, and yeah guys we're here every day I love you don't let your means be dreams I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates have a good day